Hi, I'm Julia, and today we'll be going over time cards and schedules. Time cards are automatically generated by tracking when employees clock in and out from their personal profiles. But as we all know, sometimes we forget. Salon Touch Pearl's Time Card Editor allows management to easily fix these common mishaps by manually changing a time card. To get to this feature, click Setup and Time Cards from the dropdown. Time is tracked in hours and minutes displayed on the right. To navigate through your schedule by weeks, use the calendar arrows at the bottom left corner of the window. You must save any changes before going to a new week. Use the up and down arrows under the clocked in and clocked out columns to designate the actual time the employee began and ended the shift in question. To select one part of the date to change, click the word or number. If nothing is selected, the date will increase or decrease by one full day. Select the hour or minutes to change the specific time. To add a time card for an employee that neglected to both clock in and out, choose their name from the dropdown and edit the columns accordingly. You can input the time an employee worked or took time off for various reasons. To create or edit multiple time cards for one employee, click their name from the editor. To add time cards, click New at the top of the window under the employee's name and modify the shift type and times. Be sure to save these time cards before returning to the main time card editor. To exit, click Cancel. You can add as many time cards as necessary to the calendar by using the drop down lists on the left. To delete a time card, click the checkbox labeled Delete and click Save. To create and edit schedules, go to the Setup window and select Schedule under Management. Salon Touch will open the schedule for the current week. To navigate the calendar, use the arrows at the bottom left side of the window. To put employees on your schedule, first choose their name from the drop-down associated with the day you wish to edit. The selection boxes at the top are color-coded shift types. Green is work. To schedule an employee to work, make sure the green box is selected and click the white rectangle under the time you wish the designated employee to clock in. Then find the box that ends when they are to clock out and Perl will fill in the boxes in between. This makes it easy to see how many employees will be in the store at all hours. To undo an entry, click the white box at the top labeled Clear. This will replace the color with blank tiles. Be sure to save each week before moving to a new set of dates. To create a similar schedule under a different week, click the Copy button after saving your changes. Use the calendar arrows to find the week you want the same. If there are employees assigned to work, you will get a notification. By clicking yes, you will override these entries, but requests by employees will still be available to see. You may continue to modify the copied schedule to suit the salon's and employees' needs. To view the schedule of a particular employee, click the employee's name from the schedule editor and their personal schedule will be displayed. On the right, you can see the number of hours for each shift assigned and total hours for the week. To view a different week, navigate the calendar from the main editor and click the employee's name again. The total at the bottom right makes it easy to track employees' hours and ensure that they aren't overscheduled. As always, be sure to save your changes. Thanks for watching.